Now, here's meteorologist T.J. Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. We're looking at the chance for some showers and thunderstorms tonight, and we might actually see a few more during the daytime tomorrow. Let's take a look at what's happening right now. Live Pinpoint Doppler 12 radar, nothing in our uh, immediate area. If we take a look on off to our south. We've got some showers and thunder down there. We've got some nasty storms in southern New York State. I was taking a close look at that storm a short time ago, possibly producing some hail an inch and a quarter in size. That's some pretty big hail. Threat Tracker for tonight. We do have the chance for some thunderstorms in our area, but for now, Threat Tracker is low Sunday and Monday. Not expecting anything severe those days, but we're always watching things closely. Live pictures from downtown Providence looking west, quiet skies there. And in Newport, we've got some quiet skies, a blend of clouds and stars and moonshine right now. Temperature at 73. It's a, a humid, warm night. Beautiful night, actually. Very comfortable outside. 76 in Providence, 71 in Taunton. Newport 74, westerly at 76 degrees. Satellite radar picture is showing lots of moisture working its way towards southern New England. We have a front draped across New England and down into Pennsylvania, and we have a disturbance in the upper levels of the atmosphere working on this front and all that moisture. The end result for us will be some showers and a couple of thunderstorms during the overnight hour. Not everyone sees one. You can see how we're looking at some fairly isolated stuff zipping on through still around, at least generally in the area around 6 a.m. And then we'll see a bit of a break as we head toward the latter part of the morning and maybe some more and we'll talk about that in a second. Overnight temperatures bottoming out in the upper 60s to around 70 degrees. A few showers and thunderstorms possible. Not everyone sees one. And then for tomorrow, partial sunshine by late morning. Couple of showers and thunderstorms could refire during the afternoon. Here we are at four o'clock with a couple of thunder boomers in the area and then into the early evening. Most of that activity should be quieting down. So your future cast for out on the bay tomorrow. We're looking at winds from the south southwest 5 to 15 knots visibility reduced Any showers out there. Obviously on the beaches, it'll be a slow start. We'll get some partial sun, then the chance of a shower in the afternoon, a little bit cooler than today around 80 degrees. And here's how the morning breaks down in general. We're looking at some showers early on and then we'll see some partial clearing up to about 80 by noontime. Let's pinpoint the afternoon for you. Upper 70s to around 80 at the south coast with a stray shower or thunderstorm in the afternoon. Better chance, I think, up here, Kent County, Providence County, low to mid 80s, southeastern Massachusetts, 84 in Attleboro, Fall River, Freetown, New Bedford, south coast of Mass, uh, around 80 to 85. Seven day future cast, and we are expecting to see another hot one on Monday. Could be some showers and thunderstorms Monday night and into early on Tuesday. And then uh, Wednesday and Thursday, that's when the humidity will finally leave us, at least for a couple of days. Very comfortable, 80 to 85. Maybe some showers, uh, excuse me, maybe some more heat and humidity arriving Friday and into next Saturday. It could be a thunderstorm around then as well. Be sure to download our WPRI Pinpoint Weather app and get live interactive radar weather wherever you are for your iPhone, iPad, and Android devices. You wake up in the middle of the night, you hear a rumble of thunder, you can look at that app and say, oh, it's coming right toward us. Useful, always. Always very handy, yes. All right. TJ, thanks. Coming up sports.